This screencast covers the modeling function in the Zman software. This is to fit your EIS data to an equivalent circuit. If you double click on a project, you'll have a data in the analysis side. You can go to analysis and modeling. And here you can see the four runs, each one showing the Nyquist plot and the Bode plot. If you don't know what equivalent circuit to use, what model to use, you can use the uh, automatic search. We'll cover this later. If you do know what model to use, there are different ways of entering that model. You can start typing in here, uh, typing your, your model in here. Otherwise you can use the, the drop-down list. There's a list of models in here. Or you can click this button, the uh, Select Model. It's comprised of different categories. So basic categories, battery and supercapacitors, and has a whole list of different models. And it shows you the, uh, the model here. For this data, I'm going to use this model down here. Click Select. You can now select the data sequence for the analysis. The default is real and imaginary impedance. You should also choose the weighting factor. The default for this is uh, modulus to data. You can also select the bi square function. This will give you more accurate data, but will take longer. To fit the data, you can click either the one round minimize or the 10 round minimize. And now you can click here in the residual plots to see the difference between the model data and the raw data. The parameters for the fitting are shown here. Here you can tell the software whether to make the parameters free or fixed. A tick means the parameter can be free, positive or negative. A black square means it's free but has to be positive. If it's unticked, it's fixed. If you right click in here, you can make all the parameters free, so they're all ticks. You can make all the parameters free, but only positive. If you click uh, copy to clipboard, it will copy those values to the clipboard. And in Notepad, for example, you can copy those values in there. Every fitting process is logged in the log here. You can export the data to the clipboard, for example the parameters. And in Excel, you can paste those parameters in. If you export the data, this time choose data, you can paste that into Excel. And that's all the data there. If you click OK at this point, this fitting model will be kept with the data. If you click Cancel, it will be discarded.